Hi, welcome back to another episode of my kitchen. Today we're going to be making something uh, really nice, um, really satisfying and different. And uh, it stemmed from the fact that I'm ordering this occasionally in Indian restaurants here in the UK and I'm always pretty disappointed. So today, long story short, we're cooking lemon rice. Uh, this isn't just the average recipe, this is the gourmet lemon rice. So let's start with the ingredients. Uh, we're going to season it well, we're going to make a nice uh, uh, concoction of uh, flavours that all blend together. It's going to be really harmonious and unique. So let's start off with the tarka or um, the spices and seasoning what, what we're going to temper the oil with. We have three Asian bay leaves which are cinnamon leaves, tejpeta, three small ones uh, one one interesting thing about tejpeta, a lot of people refer to them as bay leaves, you know, the European or Italian type bay leaves. But the difference is, these have a, a mild uh, aroma of cinnamon. They're really great in rice dishes. And uh, another great thing about the, the Indian variety is these are not poisonous, as opposed to the European bay leaves that are poisonous and needed to be discarded. These are edible. Uh, not that you're going to even eat them, you're going to discard them at the end, but there's just a little tip there, which uh, I thought was quite interesting. We have um, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of cumin seed, half a teaspoon of fennel, half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, four cardamoms that we're going to split, just like um, like this. Just to reveal the seeds, they're going to go in whole, uh, discarded at the end of the dish, inedible. We have four cloves here, and we have half a teaspoon of black mustard seed. So they're going to provide a lot, lot of uh, really nice garam masala-like flavour to this dish. We're going to be using about one medium onion cut really, really finely. I don't want to see any onions in the in the finished dish. <clears throat> they're almost going to disappear. And you know bring that really warm nice flavor to the rice and here a little secret ingredient a trick up my sleeve here we're going to be using one piece of lemongrass that has been uh, the top cut off the bottom cut off and it's been bashed it uh, bashing it increases the surface area you get all that great flavor coming out so that that's going to add a really unique twist to the dish that I doubt you're going to get in restaurants um, so, and we have two cups of rice, basmati rice, that has been soaked for at least half an hour. We have half a lemon here. We're going to use a little bit of the juice and we're going to cut it up um, into slivers and possibly use some for garnish at the end of the dish, just for aesthetics. We're going to be using a small pinch of saffron um, to, to um, add to the luxuriousness of the dish and, and obviously you get that lovely subtle yellow flavour and, and if that doesn't work, uh, uh, failing that, I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of turmeric because yellow rice, what, what springs to mind, obviously people eat with their eyes, it's going to be yellow. So we have a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil, about just under half a teaspoon of salt. We have um, a tablespoon of golden raisins here that's really going to add to the tang of the dish you know keep it uh, on the subject of fruit <clears throat> so they're going to be added obviously we have a uh, free quite large cloves of garlic very very finely chopped yes you can use a paste uh, but I just thought let, let's use um really finely chopped it'll be really nice so you'll have like a uh, flecks of garlic throughout the dish so really get those multiple uh, layers of three-dimensional uh, to the dish, you know, so it's going to be packed of flavour. And, I mean, this is optional here, uh, bottom left, bottom right, sorry. We have two preserved lemons. Now, anybody that's familiar with pre pre um, preserved lemons, you will obviously think about Middle East, North African food, tagine. Uh, I just thought they were really interesting, that, that smell. Uh, they're pickled, they're preserved. It's just really going to add that touch of uniqueness again to the dish. So, that's the uh, ingredients. So, let's get cooking. So, we're going to be cooking this slightly separate. We're going to be 
par cooking the rice beforehand and then we're going to be adding it to the other ingredients that provide all that infusion of citrus and flavour. Um, so we're going to be parboiling the rice. Just to make it more economical, we're going to put, you know, in, in terms of time, we're going to put the preserved lemons into the rice. We're going to put the raisins into the rice so they'll expand, they'll um, almost rehydrate to some extent. We're going to add the salt. <clears throat> and we're going to add a little bit of saffron. Just, I don't know, eight pieces. You don't have to overdo it. Just to provide that colour. And, and that, that'll determine to see whether we actually need to use the turmeric. I always think it's a bit of a shame to put turmeric into rice when you can buy a gram of saffron. It might be a little bit expensive. It's the most expensive spice in the world, actually. But, you know, you get, I don't know, um, you get plenty of it for a gram. Six pound, it'll last you a good couple of dishes. And we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice into that. If a couple of seeds from the lemon go in, I'll be quite excited. That's fine. Yep, yeah, we've got a couple of lemon seeds there. Great. Nothing wrong with that at all. So we're just going to parboil that rice now so it's about 80% 80, 80 done. Plenty of water because we're going to be sieving it. We don't need to use the drop method or the absorption method. So we'll come back in probably about eight eight minutes and that rice will be about 80 percent done and we're going to be cooking it as you can probably tell already biryani style oh and i nearly forgot the lemongrass okay right we'll come back when that rice is parboiled so that rice has been cooking now for about four to five minutes it's come to the boil it's on the hob and it's still continuing to cook and uh, to save time it's better to start with your ingredients now uh, in a separate pan we're going to be adding the coconut oil we're going to give that a, a stir and a melt and we'll come back shortly so nearly melted and uh, um, just one thing to mention as well two cups of rice is enough for four or five people so you can just scale down the ingredients accordingly but with a dish as wonderful as this you, you probably want to make quite a large portion and I think what really inspired me to um, do this recipe is, uh, to be honest, um, rather bluntly, I'm sick of having substandard lemon rice in restaurants. You know, dripping with oil, just, you know, not, not pleasant at all. So let's, you know, introduce a, a proper recipe. It's going to get great results. So, as you can see, look at the flavour, look at the... Um, the oils really change colour, that's happened instantly. Just want to really roast those spices, get all that aromatic oil infused into the oil. Um, infused into the spices or vice versa. Just want to toast that. As soon as the mustard seeds start popping, which will happen in a moment. It's time to add the onion. Any second, we'll just give that a little bit more of a roast. You don't want to burn your spices or it's time to start all over again. So as soon as you add the onions, there's enough more moisture in the onions to really stop those um, spices cooking any further once you've uh, cooked them enough. So the beauty of cutting the onions really fine, really nice and uniform so they all cook the same time, is that they cook very quickly. You almost want to just brown them off. We'll come back in a moment. So what will speed up with the process of uh, browning those onions is spreading the surface area. They brown when they're in contact with the metal. So it's good to uh, scatter them evenly. When the um, onions are halfway done, then I add the garlic. For one, I could have had the garlic earlier, but you've got a chance of burning it, which is a big no-no because burnt garlic is disgusting. So that will be just right now, two minutes for that garlic and by the time that's happened the onions will be really nice and soft. 
smelling amazing. So, we're just waiting for the rice to cook now. Uh, that'll be a couple more minutes. Um, and then we'll come back in a moment for the next step. So, I'm going to add just a couple of slices of lemon to that. It's nearly cooked. You want it just under bubbling for rice. Not too vigorous with the heat. So that's expanded now. And how, how do you tell your rice is par cooked? Okay, let's have a look. So just get one grain. Oops. One grain. And do the taste of the grit test between your teeth. It's it's almost done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drain that with all the preserved lemons, etc. And we're going to be adding it to the onion, garlic and spices. Mixing it and uh, what I'm going to do, make sure when you, when you drain your rice, keep a cup of water that's left off um, from the rice just in case the pan dries out. We're going to put it all on a low heat and cook it together. Just a moment. So rice is served back on the heat, very low, very low, everything's basically cooked, it just needs heating through and mixing. So actually, when you're turning something down, actually bend down and have a look at the flame. Don't just trust the, uh, don't just trust your cooker. So let's just have a look at that, that rice. Let's make sure we get a good zoom in, it's still steaming, but that looks absolutely amazing, yeah? You could have just cooked it like that, you know, if you don't, you're not a big fan on spices, which is uh, pretty unusual. Um, so we're just going to add that. And what we're going to do is, uh, you know, a great Indian chef once told me, always treat your rice like a baby. Yeah, no vigorous stirring. You're going to break the rice up. It's really delicate. And we're just going to stir the onion, garlic and spices into the rice. Really low heat. Make sure it's really low. Just to... really low. Right, let's just fold that in now. We'll come back to that in a moment. So ingredients all folded in. That's just how I want it. So much more superior than substandard uh, lemon rice I've got in restaurants every time I've ordered it to be honest. So what, all I'm going to do now, lowest heat possible, what I would have loved to have done, this is a, an alternative uh, twist to the recipe, a little bit of very finely chopped green chilies at this stage, just stirred in. Maybe some curry leaves could have gone into the oil earlier if you want that South Indian um, type of lemon rice. And so all we're going to do now is we're going to put a lid on, you know, I don't want to put a lid on it, it just looks so good to look at. I've just had a taste, it, it, it's amazing. The flavor those onions uh, bring out, it's, it's it's fantastic, uh, even if I do say so myself. So let's put a lid on it, and we're just going to let that steam off um, for two to three minutes, and we're going to come back shortly. Lowest heat possible, because there's not a lot of moisture. If it dries out, it's always good to have a cup left of the sieved rice, uh, which I have. But if you put it on the lowest heat possible, that's not necessary. So we're just going to come back um, in two or three minutes, uh, no peaking, um, lowest flame possible, and we're ready to serve. So, gas off. You could just let that sit there for five minutes with the gas off. We find it'll still continue to steam while the lid's on it. Let's have a butcher's. So, let's have a look. Whoa. It's nice and steamy. That's why it's uh, not good to keep taking the lid off, because you just lose the steam. And uh, it's almost sticking to the bottom which is just right, you know, it's really nice and cooked. And So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer it into a serving container ready for serving. Could have added some cashews as well, that would have been really nice. So let's serve uh, about half of that. And I hope you guys from some of those restaurants I visited and ordered this uh, are looking, you know, get some tips. 
you know it's not difficult it's not expensive I usually pay about three pound four pound for it you know so I think every restaurant could afford to do it properly wow that's incredible it smells really great so even if you're uh, you've never tried it before here's a good uh, chance to follow the recipe so there it is hope you enjoyed that still steaming you can eat that with your favorite curry it'll go it'll go nice with absolutely anything um, hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching uh, feel free as always to like share and subscribe really appreciate it and this is my 99th video I'm just about to make a video about BIR restaurants in particular anybody that's not familiar with BIR British Indian restaurants and um, yeah I'm going to be talking about that in my next video which is my hundredth video um, thanks for tuning in